Hello. Hello. Um, I used to live in Saltaire, which is like Leeds, but loads better. And, you've been, you've been there. Yeah. and um, it's only there because of failure. It's only there because the water system in Bradford failed and Titus Salt couldn't make beautiful, clean wool and Angora products in Bradford, so they had to build it. And now it's a World Heritage Site, so failure is fucking ace. <laughs> failure creates things like that. Um, so, um, I want to talk about the need to break things. I'm going to put that off there. The need to break things if you want to make them better. So, I want to talk about the Do Lectures, really, because the Do Lectures has got pretty much nothing going for it. It rains where the Do Lectures... It, you, you've all heard, heard of the Do Lectures, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's like Ted, but better. <laughs> lot, lot, on a genuinely, lots, lots better. So, we thought we'd do something really gentle, and we, and we called it Little Big Voice, and we wanted to hear the stories of people that made amazing changes that didn't have a big voice. And, and it worked, 2007 this was. So we thought, oh, we'll do, we'll do another one, but we need to change the name, because that's a shit name, Mr. Big Voice. So we called it the Do Lectures, because don't just stand there, do something. So wh wh where was it bound to work? I know, in the furthest corner of Wales, Cardigan, in the rain, you've got to really want to get there, there's no Wi-Fi, and you have to sleep in something like that. Which is actually quite cool. But I spent last, um, last April sleeping in one of these with my, um, another one of my partners called uh, Carlo, who's another do family partner. And I woke up in the morning really early. Carlo was still asleep talking about his mum. No mum, no, no mum, no, no mum, no mum. Right? Fair enough. So I said, you all right, mate? Oh, yeah. Oh, Shayla, you've seen the size of my fucking erection. <laughs> Carlo, you've been speaking about your mother. <laughs> Dreadful apologies for swearing, but I can't help it. Um, so the do lectures, it, what's he got going for it? Not a lot, because it, it, no one wants to go. It's a long, long way away, and actually, it's now huge. It's got about three million hits on the website. People love it. It's, it's held as one of the best festivals in the world. And it was started by David Hyatt, a good friend of mine. And David Hyatt had this, this vision that you get to the end of your life, and you're shown two films. One film is all the things you achieved. Great. The other film is all the things you're all right down there. Yeah. All the things you could have achieved if you'd used your skills and talents effectively. And the Duplexes is there to close the gap between the two films. That's, that's the whole plan. So we have people like Michael Axon Smith, who, um, who runs Mind Candy, Moshi Monsters. You may not like that kind of thing, but he's, he's really good. And that failed. When he launched Moshi Monsters, no one went for it. He had two years of bumping along the bottom. And then suddenly it went, it went crazy, absolutely crazy. And we have audiences of about 120, 130 people each happy to, to pay a thousand, thousand five hundred pounds to come and, and be inspired and, and, and get wet. And to, um, and to make things even better, we know there's people that can't afford it, so we, we get sponsorship for give, what we call giving chairs. So there's 10 giving chairs a year that people can come and have for free if they write a really good and, and emotional letter. And it isn't just about the lectures, the lectures are only one part of it. The key thing is all the workshops that come with it. So you can get up at 7 o'clock and go on a canoe down the Typhi and watch the sunrise. Or you can get up at 7 o'clock and go for, a, go for a run. Or you can get up at 7 o'clock and do some yoga. You can get up at 7 o'clock and bake bread. But the key thing is, you're baking bread with a bloke called Tim Berners-Lee, I've never heard of. And I'm kneading this bread, I'm putting it in, in the oven. I says, what, what, what do you do then, Tim? Well, I've invented the internet. <laughs> what do you do, Mark? Oh, bake bread, really? <laughs> and, and that's the beauty of the do lectures. You don't know who you're sat next to. So this, this sounds ace, doesn't it? What can go wrong? What, you know, it's a beautiful place to be. It's really ace. You eat fantastic food. Some of the best pork pies I've ever eaten. Um, some of the nicest tea. What, what could go wrong? I do an auction. That's generally pretty wrong. Uh, but we, uh, we raise about 70 grand from, from stuff like that. Um, and then we think, this is interesting, what can we do next? So we do it in America. And then we decide we're going to do it in uh, Australia. So Sam Bell's starting one in Australia. And uh, it's focusing one of the top ten festivals, one of the top ten events in the world. So where, where's the failure? Well, we wanted to break it because it was too successful. I'm actually scared of success more than I'm scared of failure, interestingly. So we broke it completely. We turned it into a workshop that set up six businesses in three days. And it worked really, really well. Irritating. So, we're going to do it again. And we're starting a, a, a do business school in September. We've got about £4 million worth of capital funding. And we're going to take three terms, 15 companies a term, and pay them to be brilliant businesses. So, and then we're going to break the lectures. We're going to move it from where it is, the forest. We're going to go back from 120 to 40 people, back from 40 to 20 speakers. Because I think that change happens 
at the edges and it had become too big, too successful and too mainstream. So we know that all of these things are going to happen, every single one of them. And you need to be careful what you wish for in that tent because speakers come back and their lives have changed, delegates come back and their lives have changed and genuinely innovation happens at the edges and if you don't embrace failure, if you don't want to fail, then, then you won't succeed and you won't see the value in it. Thank you.